And then, um, so this one, I only have this one out of the set, and on the back, it'll show you on each one the sets that go with this uh, one pop. Alrighty, so for this guy, the T60 Power Armor, uh, my very first one that I got, um, I got this back in 2000 and, I think it was 2016, but this was back in 2015. Uh, this is vaulted, so you can't find this one anymore in stores. It's pretty beat up, uh, it's been uh, moved around a lot. So on Funko app, um, this is valued at ten dollars which really isn't a lot um so for those people that are wanting to resell like we collect these and we resell these uh certain ones um so this one i wouldn't be selling because it was my very first one so it's uh it's got some value for me um the next one that we will be showing you is this uh rick and morty spacesuit uh with rick uh so this is spacesuit rick with snake um Here's that. So this on uh, the Funko's app, uh, the space suit was um, space suit Rick with snake is valued at twenty dollars. Um, this is one of my newer ones, so I'm kind of glad that that goes for a lot more than what I uh, I had spent on it. Uh, the next one that I will be showing you is my space suit Morty with snake. Uh, which also goes with the same uh, set as the space suit was Rick. There's also a few other ones. Uh, I actually completed this set, which I'll be showing you in this video as well. Um, so here's this and what space suit Morty looks like. All right, so on the Funko uh, app that you could download, um, space suit Morty with snake is valued at fifteen dollars. Um, so I got this at my local Hot Topic. We got all this out of it. So, I think that we got this full set of Hot Topic. So, if you have a Hot Topic near you, you could probably find these if you're a big Rick and Morty fan. Um, so, I have this valued at fifteen dollars. Um, and my next one, I'll be showing you. Okay. So, with this set, I was. She just told me that I got this one at GameStop. Um, and this one is Rick with Crystal Skull. Um, so the, the new ones I've been showing you are off of the new season four uh, of Rick and Morty, which I'm obsessed with, as you could tell. <laughs> okay, so on the Funko app, um, Rick with Crystal Skull is valued at $9. So this one isn't as valuable as the Space Suit Morty with Snake or Space Suit Rick with Snake out of the, um, the whole collection. Sorry, I had a, a whole set. Um, so this one's a little cheaper. Um, I think I got this for $8.99. So about the same price as if you bought it out of the store if you tried to resell it. Um, so our next one, uh, part of the same set as the first three Rick and Mortys is uh, our Hospice Morty. I'll show you the back, that way you can see the collection. Um, You guys can see what Hospice Morty looks like. So this one, um, this one I haven't seen in any of the Rick and Morty um, episodes yet. So this one, I think, is what's to come, um, unless I just totally forgot and didn't see it. So on the Funko Pop um, site, uh, Hospice Morty goes for fifteen dollars. Um, I think I only spent also $8.99 on this one. Or did we get this one at Hot Topic? Um, yeah, I think we got that at Hot Topic. Okay, so at our local Hot Topic, all the normal common funks, some common uh, Funko Pops, are $12.50 normally. So this is still um, a couple dollars more if I was to resell it. Um, our next one uh, to complete this set of the Rick and Morty from season four is Mr. Poopy Butthole Auctioneer. <laughs> uh, this is probably my favorite one. 
Um, you don't really see this one too often because it just came out. Um, I also got this at my local Hot Topic. Um, I think they messed up on this too as well because uh, when I looked it up to see the value, uh, it doesn't have a value yet. It still says pre-order. So I think my local Hot Topic put this out a little bit too early, but that's okay because I have it. <laughs> uh, here's what he looks like in the front. So you look at Mr. Poopy Bowl Auctioneer. Uh, so Funko, if you go on Funko's app, uh, it does not have a price yet. Um, so really, if you get this and you don't like it and you want to resell, you can put it at whatever you really want. Uh, me, I will not be selling my Rick and Morty sets. Uh, my next one I'll be showing you is this Teddy Rick. Also from uh, Season 4, but it's starting a new collection, a new um, set. Um, on the back and I will be turning it around so you guys can see what he looks like. This is Teddy Rick. I do not have the chase uh, variation of this yet. I will be getting it. Um, it's a more bloody Teddy Rick when he um, when he, he kills himself in the season in this episode multiple times because uh, he keeps dying but this is when he turns into a teddy bear. Um, this one goes for for eight dollars, um, the chase variation I believe goes for more. Uh, it's more rare to find that one. Uh, I got this one at my local. I got this at Hot Topic as well. So I lost money on this one. If I was a resell value wise, um, uh, this one's pretty cool. Um, I have another one of these, but it's different. I actually thought they were the same. Uh, this is my hologram Rick clone, and as you can see on the back. Uh, it's set. Um, this one's pretty cool for me because it um, it glows in the dark. It's a, a special edition of a Hot Topic exclusive, as you guys can see there. Um, this is part of the set with Teddy Rick. Okay, so this hologram Rick clone, there is a few, uh, but the way to tell the difference is the number. Um, this is trending on Funko app for $16, so uh, if I was to resell these, um, I'd be um, gaining a little extra because I paid $12.50 at Hot Topic. Uh, my next one is uh, also another Hologram Rick clone. Um, this one is part of the same set. Um, so I'll show you what this one says. On each one, uh, this one doesn't glow like the other one, but on each one they'll say something else on the little um, stick that they have. Uh, this one values at $12, so not a whole lot of loss if I was to sell this, it'd just be 50 cents less. Um, so out of the same set is uh, Floating Desk Crystal Morty, also from the new, newest season. Uh, this is a Walmart um, only um, exclusive. Uh, this one was the only one that I found. I thought I'd pick it up, but um, this one's a little damaged and everything, so I'll probably get in a soft protector here pretty soon or a hardcover. So this is what this looks like. And as you guys can see, it has a little creases there. It's a little ripped at the corner. Um, but, you know, I still like it. It's uh, something different for me. Uh, each one of these, I, I won't say all Pop Funkos have them, but at the bottom there's um, a little stand for them to sit on if you want to take them out. Uh, me, I don't normally take them out except for uh, these three. Uh, so for this Walmart exclusive, um, I paid $8.99 for this. Uh, this one actually goes for $18. If I was to resell it, obviously I would uh, lower the price just a little bit because of this uh, box. Um, but yeah, it goes for 18 on the Funko app. Um, down the road later, if I see one that's in better condition, I might uh, buy it and then just put this one out of its box and like set it around or something. Uh, so this is a, a Kirkland Me Seeks, also part of the same set. Um, I think the only one that I'm missing is this uh, oh, a Wasp Rig. Um, but this is what Kirkland Me Seeks looks like.
and uh, he also comes with a little stand, I believe, at the bottom. Um, so if you if you are the type to want to, you know, take them out of the box, set them on their stands, and pose and everything, um, you can do that. Um, also, some advice: if you are to stack these in, on their box, make sure you either get a soft protector or a hard cover um, protector. Uh, because if you stack more than four, I believe, it'll start crushing the box and damaging them. Uh, Kirkland Mystics goes for uh, $10 um, on the Funko app. Uh, this one, I believe, I got at uh, Hot Topic, which they sell theirs for $12.50. So if I was to resell, I'd lose value. Um, my next one, I'll be showing you. This one's a different set. I think this is... Oh. Uh, this is the only one I have of this set. Uh, this is my last Rick and Morty one. Um, so, I, out of this last Rick and Morty set, I have Beth uh, from Rick and Morty. I think this is from season three, I believe. But this is what Beth looks like. Um, we did go shopping today, too. We spent well over a hundred dollars on Funkos tonight um, so um, this may or may not be my last Rick and Morty uh, pop Funko you guys will just have to wait and see um, but this is Beth when she's um, depressed and drinking a whole bunch of wine uh, I think in this episode too that she's on the virtual reality so when they're talking about that this one goes for this one goes for $5. I think I got this one. Where did I get this one? Also from Hot Topic. So I would definitely be losing value if I was to sell this. But um, another thing that you guys could do is if you guys have a, a cheap one like this, but if you guys complete this uh, these sets on the back and you guys bundle them, uh, you guys could sell them for a whole lot more because it's a complete set. Um, so that works. So this is part of um, what Funko is doing is like the 80 years of Batman. I think they also have the 80 years Marvel uh, edition. So this is part of the Batman one. Uh, it comes with this. Uh, I haven't quite opened it to see what it comes with. It's kind of black back there. So I don't know how well this is going to show up on the camera. But here you guys go. This is the DC Superheroes Batman. There's different variations of this one and different variations of Batman. Uh, but I like this one just because how the box looked and how he looked, it looked pretty cool. Um, this one does not have uh, different ones to complete sets. They're just all on their own. Okay, so uh, we had to go to a different phone um, because on the Funko app, uh, you can't always find all these, which is weird sometimes. Um, so another website to look up how much these go for resale prices is uh, poppriceguides.com. Uh, this one I paid twelve fifty for at Hot Topic. Um, how much this goes for for resale price is sixteen dollars. So if you were to resell this, you'd gain a couple extra bucks. And you'll never have to. Um, from a video game that I play frequently, and I have uh, his actual mask and two uh, Nerf guns. I bought at Hot Topic. I mean, not Hot Topic. At GameStop. For um, I think that was like a hundred and thirty dollars for that whole set. Um, this one I got at my local Walmart. Uh, this is uh, from the game Overwatch. This is Reaper. Um, I probably won't be completing this set, but I'll get different variations of Reaper because he's uh, my favorite. Um, so if you guys are into games, Pop does do games. Um, this is about my favorite. I might do other ones depending on how they look and how cool they are, um, like Roadhog or um, Junk Junkrat. Is it? Yeah. Um, so they're pretty cool. Uh, this one is eight dollars. So I don't know, this came in 2019. So it's not like a whole lot, but it's um, it was pretty cheap. Um, I think I have. I have this one and one more Funko Pop. Uh, this is from 
the movie Teen Wolf. This is a uh, knocking you down. <laughs> Uh, this is uh, Scott Howard's. Um, this is Teen Wolf 1, not Teen Wolf 2. Um, so this is Scott Howard. Um, the person that played this also played in the movie um, Back to the Future. Um, this was my favorite Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf 2 wasn't as great as this one. Um, I don't know if they make a flocked version of this. Yes. They do? Um, so I might have to pick this one up, um, just because it looks a lot cooler and it's a different variation. Um, as you see on the back, there isn't a set to this. This is all on its own. So pop uh, from the uh, pop movies. Uh, this one costs in at seven dollars. I got this one at my local Walmart for eight ninety nine. So I'll be losing a dollar, but I'm pretty sure the flocked version. Uh, so the flocked version goes for $19, so if you guys find the flocked version of this um, and you guys want to resell, I'm pretty sure you'll be making a lot of money off of that one. So I'm a big Seattle Seahawks fan. Um, so this is part of the NFL 100 Years um, edition. Um, so this is Russell Wilson when he won the, the Super Bowl. Um, my future plans for this one is to get signed this uh, next up, up, upcoming season. Um, so this one uh, by itself is worth $14. Uh, I think I paid, I got this from GameStop. Uh, I had $10 off. I only paid $3 for this one. Uh, so if you have a GameStop um, membership and you go there a lot like I do, um, you can end up getting discounts and stuff. Um, I'm planning on getting this one signed. But I won't sell this, um, but if I was, um, that could be worth a couple hundred dollars. Um, my last Funko, this is my last Funko from uh, my already set. Um, we, we have more coming up, but this is uh, part of the five star ones that you can find at uh, your local Target. So this is Vault Boy Toughness. This is what he looks like, his little case. Um, he, apparently they do have different sets. Uh, these are all the sets, you can't really see them very well. But uh, at your local Target, you can find these. And then this is what they look like without being open. So you get to see like their head and stuff. Uh, so this one's valued at $10. I'm not quite sure how much I, uh, I got this for. I think I got this for Christmas. Uh, so I'm not quite sure how much they retail for. All right, so these two do it for my collection. These don't really, I think, have a price, so this is it for my pop collections. On to you, Dakota, and you can talk about your uh, collections. This is my uh, youngest sister, and now she's into pop addiction. So go ahead, show me your first one that you got. So this is my first one ever to get, and it is the Cuddle Team Leader from Fortnite. And um, you can find it at your local Walmart. Yep. So then, I am not planning out uh, to sell mine. I'm planning to collect them. This is Stranger Things. I started collecting these ones because I'm I watched Stranger Things like a year ago. And I'm now obsessed with it because <laughs> it's a really good Netflix show. And who's this? And this is Will. And then you can find these at Target. Alright, so my next one, this is from Frozen 2. And this is Kristoff. Uh, you can find these at your local Walmart and I have not completed the set yet because there well, was a lot <laughs> yeah as you guys can see back here that's the complete Frozen 2 set so this is another one of my Stranger Things this is 11 and you can find this at your local Target too. So 
So, um, with this one, this one actually has a set too, as you can see. And this one I have, I think, finished. No, 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 you don't have Dustin. Yeah, I do. No, 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 no that's, that's a pop though. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. So these are your smaller ones? Yeah. So you have completed your set for your small So you're also missing one from completing your set? Yeah. Alright, so here's another one of my Fortnite. This is the Black Knight. And you can find this one at your local Walmart. And it do, does have a set. And I have not completed this because there's a lot. <laughs> Moving on to my next Fortnite one. This is Bright Bomber from Fortnite. And um yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my Game of Thrones. Um and it is Jon Snow. So you can find this at your local Walmart, and then um, it has a set too. You know what else we should start checking? Best Buy. Mm -hmm. So that is Jon Snow, and then I have the Duke and Duchess. the Duchess. And you can find this at your local. Uh, we got that at GameStop. GameStop. And it does have like a little set. And you've completed it. Oh, I have completed it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So another Game of Thrones for me is a uh, Sansa Stark. And this goes with the Jon Snow. I have not completed this set. But are you going to eventually or not? I probably will. Oh, okay. So with that Duke and Duchess, I have Queen Eliz uh, Elizabeth too. The second. Oh, the second. <laughs> <laughs> and... This completes my set, and yeah. So this one is another one of my Stranger Things. It is Lucas, and I have not completed my set because I'm missing one, sadly. So you're only missing one? Yeah, and that's Dustin. No. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot you. For okay. the little ones. So, you're, you're only seeing three for right now, but we did buy more, so she is still only missing one of these. Mm -hmm. um, so, I do have Dustin, but it's a bigger pop, and it is a different set, and... Yeah, so it's only found at Walmart. It is only found at Walmart. And it has this little set right there too. Yeah, that's the only one that we're able to find at Walmart so far, at our local Walmart. Yeah. Alright, so back with my Fortnite, of course. <laughs> Raptor is from Fortnite. It uh, also has Bright Bomber and all of that. And. So this is of my Fallout one, and this is um, Vault Boy Luck. So this one has a cat, like yeah, like my brother's, but he has toughness, and I got this for Christmas. 
and I think that oh so all of these ones these five star ones are found at your local Target I believe. Yeah. And back with my frozen, mm -hmm. I have Anna, and um um so this is found at your local Walmart. Oh and. I think it's also found at Hot Topic, but yeah, yeah. So this can be found at Hot Topic, Walmart, and, and even GameStop, I believe. So look, mm -hmm. mostly anywhere you can find all your Frozen twos. Um, so there you go. You keep going. As I help you out a little bit. <laughs> okay. um, so this is her last one out of her uh, previous set. Um, I'll let her uh, grab hers out of the bag that we just bought today. That way she could. Uh, Get to okay. bed. So this is my um, second to last one that I collected to finish the set. And this no. is Mike. He is Eleven's boyfriend at like the beginning. And then this can be found as at your local tar uh, Target too. So, also with my Frozen 2, because I love Frozen, um, I got Olaf, um, and... Uh, so, pretty much, um, all Frozen 2 can stuff be can Hot be found. Topic or Target. Yeah, anywhere that sells pops, you can mostly find your Frozen 2, unless it says uh, Hot Topic exclusives or Walmart uh, only. Like um, this one. So this one can only be found at Hot Topic, and this is Elsa. Um. So then, yeah. So this can be only found at Hot Topic. So I have not finished the set still. Okay, so this is another Elsa one. There are many different Elsas. And we found this one today. And this one was found at Walmart. No, 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 Target. 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 And then this one is when she's holding a blizzard. Uh, we believe this is possibly a Chase version, just without the sticker. Um, I haven't seen uh, this one before. Um, it says that's part of this set, which also this one says, but, um, we don't know if this is a Chase version or not. Yeah, it says the same ones, right? No. What do you mean? Those, well, well, those yeah, but it doesn't say these two. Which ones? Like, these no, no, actual no. Yeah, no, two. that's what I'm saying. Like, this is the normal Elsa. Yeah. And then I think this is the Chase version because, uh, they're, uh, they have a different thing on them. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then last for her, um, we have these little uh, Stranger Things mystery boxes. I'm um, trying to find a good way to open these without ruining the, the, the box. You can just have to. Um, or this one. Jeez, I can't. Alright, so I can't really guess to see which one I have because it's so hard to like guess this is, so... So I think I have the, uh, the Ahoy Steve right there. It is up in the corner. I think I have that one. So this is the set of them. I don't think I'll be completing them because like they had a little bit of an amount of them. <laughs> So I'm going to open mine now. So this is Eleven when she went to the mall and got ice cream. These are actually pretty cool. Uh, we got these at our local Target for $5.99. Right? Mm -hmm. um, so if you're big into Stranger Things and you just want like the joy of opening up a mystery box, kind of not knowing what you're going to get, um, I would get these. Um, I'm pretty sure they have different variations of like uh, Rick and Morty, Stranger Things, um, different things like this. Um, 
So if you're into mystery boxes like we are, these are awesome. Uh, they're not that expensive as regular pops. And you know, they, they're pretty cool looking. They could stand on their own. But um, yeah, that's, uh, that's it for her and hers. Um, she has to get ready for school tomorrow. So we thought we'd end hers off uh, right now. Um, hey guys, so uh, we had to do a little arranging and stuff. Uh, so where we last left off was was my uh, little sister uh, leaving. Um, this is my girlfriend Crystal. She's also into these pops, but only into um, certain kind of pops. Um, so she'll be telling you about her pops. And, yeah. So I'm mainly into the stitch pops. This one only has one stitch in the set, and then it's just like a Disney characters set. I only have the stitch because I'm mainly obsessed with stitch. Um, but that's what the set looks like. And then that's what he looks like. I believe this is one of the new or the older ones that they had made. He doesn't look exactly like the rest of them that I have. His head's a little bigger, but yeah. But he's Stitch, so. Uh, look at the box. So, oh, this has those other things. Uh, so this is back from 2015. Uh, these have a uh, older date code at the bottom. Um, so then I have the the Lilo and Stitch set. And this one is the Lilo. Um, she's the only pop figure I have besides Stitch. Um, I mainly got her because she goes with the set and I wanted to complete at least one set. Um, this is what she looks like. I do not have Elvis Stitch nor Scrump. Yes. A little doll. Lilo's a little doll. Um, the only downside to this is we bought it from someone online and uh, this side of the plastic is all broken. Um, so if we ever do find another one, we'll probably uh, take this one again out of the box and then just keep the newer one in the case. Um, here is another one. Um, I believe these are all part of a set, but they all have different pictures on the back of them. Um, on this one, I still don't have Scrump, and I don't have Stitch 626, nor the regular Stitch on the back of this one. Um, and this is Hula Stitch. It's a Hot Topic exclusive that we got from Hot Topic, obviously. And then my last set, or my last stitch for this set is um, the Loha stitch. And this one basically has all of them on the back of it. And this is what he looks like in the front of them. And I did do some research on all of them, and this is the one that actually goes for the most. I can't remember how much, but I think it was like $38. For 30 Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. And that is all of it. Oh, I have a small one that I forgot about. It's a little keychain. It's the regular stitch. It has like kind of like a metallic look, so I don't know if that's like kind of rare. Um, I don't know if that's just how that one was made or not. And this is also a Hot Topic exclusive, and obviously I got it from Hot Topic. What about your little? Uh... These aren't really pop figures, but we also picked up.
So at at Target, um, we had picked up a few. Um, it's part of Dakota's uh, Elsa, I mean from Frozen 2 set, but this was the only Rick and Morty at Target. Um, this is part of the Beth uh, set that I showed you guys earlier. Uh, so this is Summer when she's on her phone. Um, Beth and The Beth and this Summer are the only ones that I have besides Rick and Morty ones. Um, in this set, you get Scary Terry, Jerry, uh, Lawyer Morty, and Young Rick. So there's that on the back. And then there's a better look at her while she's in the box. Alrighty. And then um, this is a um, exclusive um, pop vinyl from uh, Hot Topic. It's a Hot Topic exclusive, I believe. Um, this one was really hard to find and super um, rare. Um, so, as you guys can see, it comes in this uh, its own box. Uh, fits perfectly in with the, um, the like these sizes. So, a little comparison. This is what it looks like. Um, so, I got this from Hot Topic. So this is a flocked Smokey the Bear. Um, uh, this was really hard to find, the flocked version. The regular version is like really common except for this one. So this is his uh, saying on the back, only you can prevent wildfires. Uh, this one, um, I, I won't be selling because of how hard it was to find. Um, so this is $21, I only paid I believe twelve fifty for this. I believe right. It was a normal price. I think, so, yeah. I think they charged me normal price for this. I think um, that's how much they always go for it. Some are uh, different at Hot Topic, but on uh, PPG this is twenty one dollars. I only paid twelve fifty, and it comes in this uh, little box for me. And then we uh, we ordered this. Uh, mystery box off of uh, Amazon. So this is part of the Mandalorian set. Uh, this is Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. That's what that guy looks like. Um, so I got this off of Amazon. Um, it has three normal size pops. Three normal size, and then there's two itty bitty uh, ones in there. I'll, I'll just I'll show you guys that one. This is the set on the back of this Mandalorian. Looks like there's a lot. I don't believe. I'm not quite sure if we're going to complete this set or not. Probably. Probably because you're here into Star Wars. So. Okay. So we, we might, um, so we'll keep you guys updated on these uh, pops. We'll have these in their own section, uh, depending on how good they do. Um, so there's this guy. Um, oh, sweet. Um, so this is uh, Invader Zim. Oh, it's a Hot Topic exclusive too. Um, so if you guys remember seeing this on uh, Nickelodeon, at times, uh, this is uh, Invader Zim and, and uh, Gur with his little pig. Um, it doesn't have a set. This is the only one that's part of it. There's, uh, I actually like the way Gur looks with his little piggy. <laughs> um, True. Yeah. Um, so that, that's uh, that's another thing. If you guys um, see any that we um, we said that we most likely sell, uh, just um, either comment down uh, which ones you'd want um, that we would be willing to sell, and then um, 
Yeah. And then, so we have one more in here. Oh, sweet. So this is another Hot Topic exclusive, uh, a flocked uh, variation, uh, Harry Potter uh, Buckbeak, I believe. So here's this, it's a flocked version. Um, I'm not quite sure if I would complete this set. Um, I'm not sure, uh, I forgot how much, how much it was good for. I think I've seen this on Funko's like once or twice. Um, maybe willing to sell, um, so just let me know. Um, that's it, it's a little set in the back. So if you guys are missing this, I don't know if this only comes in a flock, I'm pretty sure it has the regular version as well. But there's set. And then there's two in here, she's gonna like these. So this one's Tiki Stitch. And this one's scented. Hmm. Oh? Yeah. Oh, what the heck? I didn't even notice that until I just looked at it. Hmm. And it's a Hot Topic ex exclusive. I wonder what it smells like. Oh, is there not if it's pineapple? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that sucks. So in the packaging, it looked like, because uh, these weren't packaged very well. It's like they were like in their like, skin type, but uh, this isn't stained down what? very well. But um, this is what Tiki Stitch looks like in there. And I think I've seen bigger versions of him. Yeah, I, I think that's a newer one that's coming out, is yeah. um, the bigger like six inch ones like those. I'll have to look for it. Um, and then there's one And more. then they have Stitch and Angels. It's perfect couples. So in the, uh, in the description on the Amazon thing, we had asked if uh, they could put stuff that we liked. So we said that we were in the Star Wars. Uh, she, I put like a thing for Lilo and Stitch. And then um, I put like different variations. Um, so the flocked Harry Potter one, um, I was not expecting that. I'm um, not quite big in the Harry Potter, but um, <coughs> I'm, I may keep it or I may not, depending on what you guys offer me for. Um, obviously, the Lilo and Stitch ones are not up for sale. Those are <laughs> those are hers. <laughs> but um, looks like that's it. Looks like that's it. Um, what? Oh, and then another thing that we got today at Walmart oh, uh, was this calendar of Rick and Morty. He just had to get it. Had. And then there's what it says on the back. But um, that that should um, that should be all for this video, and we'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Yes. Zoom in right there. <laughs>